this is Lisa from Casa de Greenly Art. I am back with another pride project. I believe this is number three. And we are going to be doing a Lazy Susan today. There has been one Amsterdam pearl paint that has been absent from all of my Amsterdam pearl paints um, because I just don't use it very often. And that is pearl white. Um, I just have not used it all that much. So I decided I am going to use that as my base today. And you can kind of sort of see maybe in the light that it is the pearly white. It is translucent, um, so uh, it won't cover as much. So I've de definitely gone and gessoed my wood piece really well. This will eat the um, paint like the other pearl colors. I'm not going to use a bunch of paint today because this is a fairly small space. It's like 15 or 16 inches. And I'm gonna to try to do something across the this. So I can't use a lot of paint because I don't have a lot of real estate for it. Um, I'm gonna be using the Pebeo um, Fine Gold, or Precious Gold, I think is what it's called. Permanent Red by Soho Acrylic. Orange Marmalade by Porridge Posse Paints. Azo Yellow Medium by Amsterdam. Emerald Green by Amsterdam. Thalo Blue by Liquitex. And Windsor Violet by Windsor & Newton. And then I'm also gonna be throwing in a little titanium white um, to create a little bit of cells and also kind of give a little contrast since I'm not using a bunch of other colors. I'm gonna go ahead and flood the canvas and I will be back. Okay, I am back. Um, I think you can see how pearly the base is. It is very, very pretty. And I'm just trying to think of how I wanna do this. I think I'm going to do a small line of titanium white just to give me an idea of what I wanna do. And this is going to be really interesting because, like I said, I don't have a lot of real estate. i got to make sure that I get the colors in the right spot. Do I want to do puddles or do I want to do lines? Hmm. Let's do puddles. I just want to make sure I don't overdo it because, like I said, I don't have a lot of real estate. the purple won't get lost too badly. I'm wondering if I should start with the purple. I usually start with red, but I might want to start with the purple because the purple does get lost quite often at the end. Okay, now I'm going to do, I'm going to do a line of gold. I'm going to do a little bit of just a few touches of white. To kind of contrast. And if this doesn't work, I will scrape it and try it again because I want this to turn out really good. Okay. And you know what? I think I'm going to turn it 
so that I can blow it in this direction and start with the purple. That looks pretty good. There's not enough. I need something right here. There's a little bit too much separation between the orange and the yellow, but I don't think there's anything I can do about it unless... No, I think I'm just going to leave it. I don't want to mess it up. But I think it looks really cute. And we will see how this dries. Um, it looks like it's sewing up really good here. Not a whole lot in the red and the orange and the yellow, but the green looks good, although it has quite a bit of blue and yellow in it, but that's fine too. The purple has a lot of gold. There's some really neat cells going on right here. Okay, I'm gonna let this go. This may be one that I end up throwing glitter on in the resin process too. I will show you a close-up. Okay, here's a close-up of those amazing cells. There's some popping up here in the yellow and stuff too. And you can really see that pearl in the background now. All right, I will show you it when it is dry. Here is the final product of the Lazy Susan with the resin coating. Absolutely gorgeous. And let me do a quick spin for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And if you are interested in this Lazy Susan, um, please contact me at casadegreenleyart at gmail.com.